with another makeup look. This time I'm gonna do like the whole shebang. It's gonna be a little bit heavier than normal. I'm gonna do an eye look, kind of like a monochrome look into like the whole nudes, um, like a nude, uh, neutral, grungy, messy eye kind of thing. And very like minimal glowy skin. Typical me. Tuck all my hair back and I'm gonna prime my face using the Victoria Beckham, I think it's called Morning Aura Primer, but my skin is very dull and I have a couple of breakouts. So I'm just gonna slap this on all over my face. And then for foundation, I'm going to use a little bit of the La Mer Soft Fluid mixed with the Glossier because this is this is a little bit too dark for me at the moment. So I'm gonna dab this on my face like so. You guys see me do this a million and one times. I kind of like to do this too, <laughs> and just. Put it everywhere and take this Real Techniques sponge and now I'm going to use my trusty NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I haven't purchased this in ages, so I picked a tube up while. I did the um, Sephora VIB sale and I got the shade Ginger. Mm, lay a little around the nose to blend that all in. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the NARS Pro Prime eye primer or eyeshadow primer because my eyelids are super greasy and whatever eye look I do it'll just melt right off it won't last at all so I've found this to be the best eyeshadow primer that I've used better than the Urban Decay one, Too Faced, all those different ones, the NARS one just really holds up really nicely. Now, Laura Mercier pencil in caramel. This is her caviar eye color, but this is a matte shade. And it's just like a really neutral taupe. Um, MAC groundwork paint pot would also work really nicely, but it's kind of like the shade that my eyelid would be naturally a natural shadow so I'm just gonna paint this on really messily and then just blend it out into the crease and all over my eyelid with my finger it does set pretty quickly so I would just do one eye at a time for eyeshadow I'm gonna use this Maybelline Gigi Hadid palette that I was sent uh, a lot of the colors in here are really nice. I'm not sure what the name of this palette is. Uh, it says Warm Shod. That's what it says on it. But it has like all these peach and neutral tones. This really rich, warm, chocolatey brown. But I'm going to use this shade here that's in the bottom corner. And again, it's like this nude flesh tone color. And I'm just going to pick some of that up on a brush and put that all over the lid and then just blend it into the crease as well. I'm gonna take like a really nice big fluffy blending brush and just make sure that that all is blended nice and evenly. I go underneath the eye with that same brown shade and 
kind of connect it at the corner. And don't be afraid to bring it down low. But I'm just gonna brush out my eyebrows, get any foundation out, and just pencil them in just a little bit in the front because they're a little sparse. Um, you want them to look really nice and natural and fluffy for this kind of look. And this is the Anastasia Brow is in dark brown. Okay, so now that brows are nice and fluffy, I'm gonna go in and I think I'm gonna use a nude pencil in the waterline. This is Burberry's um, Effortless Coal Liner in the shade Stone. And I'm just gonna put this on the waterline. What I wanna do now? I think I'm gonna powder just Mm, or actually, let's do contour first. I'm gonna use this Pixi, um, what is this called? Sheer Sculpt Multi Balm. Now this is a little bit of a warmer contour. It's not as dark and I feel like it just goes with the eye color really nicely. So just a swipe of that. And where I need it and then I'm gonna go back in with that sponge and really blend that out okay now I'm gonna go in with some cream highlight just because I want everything to still look glowy and fresh and I'm gonna powder just through the center of my face once I'm done um, but this is the Becca, I haven't used this in ages. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moon, Moonstone? Yeah, Moonstone. So I'm going to take a little bit of this and put it on the tops of my cheeks. And I like this because it just, it really looks like skin. It doesn't look like a huge shimmer stripe like um, powders would. Oh, I have left on my finger. I'll put it everywhere else, but I think that that's really pretty and it looks great. Now, um, I had a hard time trying to find a blush shade and then I remembered about the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk and this is a perfect nude shade. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and apply it to the cheeks as well. And I feel like it just keeps everything uniform. Now, now I'm gonna powder. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Bourjois Healthy Mix powder, and this is in the shade, what? Um, 55 Beige. And I'm just gonna take this big MAC fluffy brush and just dip that in there. And I'm only gonna powder right here around my nose. A little bit on the forehead, a bit on the chin, just where I'm just a little bit too shiny underneath my eyes. So I'm going to use a little bit of the Maybelline Full and Soft Waterproof. I'm also going to take it on the lower lashes as well. Okay, so mascara is on. I think that looks a little bit better. Now I'm gonna use this YSL lip liner and it is in number 13. I'm not gonna try to pronounce the name, but it's like this brownie nude kind of color. Um, I was looking for my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Pencil, but I have no idea where it's at. So I'm just gonna use this for now and I'm gonna messily just apply this. I'm just outlining for now. I'm going to take this Dior lip color and it's a matte lip color and it is in 
the shade Hypnotic Matte, and it's one of their newer liquid matte lip color things. And I'm just gonna put that on the center of my lip because I don't want much of it, and really work it in. Again, I really love that like lived in lip look and this product is great for that. I need a little bit of bronzer. So I'm gonna go in with this Bobbi Brown one. Um, just around the face a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Um, this is in the shade natural one and it has a little bit of like a ready undertone to it it's really nice oh yeah that's much better I'm go in high up on the cheeks and that is it look is done i love this look i think it's just when i have an extra five minutes because it literally takes nothing to do but you still somehow look polished and put together um, I just think it's really flattering too when you find the um, right shade of uh, neutral tones I guess but there's so many nude palettes and even from the drugstore you can get a really really good eyeshadow I forgot whose video was I watching I think it was like one of the pixie boo I think it was Sam who did a video like this and um, like her I'm a huge fan of like that grungy, messy, Mary Kate Olsen twin look. Um, and I really like this, but I feel like it's appropriate for work or, you know, daytime. Doesn't really matter where you wear this makeup. Um, looks really nice. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one.